Sal Chiarelli is a wood turner, and sometimes he makes mistakes. Sometimes you become impatient and you always try to take that one last cut maybe to make the bowl a little thinner or something like that. And, you know, sometimes you pop a hole in the bottom and you're like, oh my God, I just ruined this thing, you know. What Chiarelli's done is turn those mistakes into birdhouses or works of art. He's not 100% sure. I don't know if I'll ever consider myself an artist, but uh, I'm a guy who knows how to put some stuff together. <laughs> For a craftsman like Chiarelli, the proverbial necessity is the mother of invention is a call to action. So he took the ruined bowls and got to work. One day I started playing with them and putting them on top of each other to see if I could make something out of them, glue them together, maybe birdhouse kind of thing. And so that's when I got the idea, oh, maybe I'll just slide him over a pole and kind of make like a totem pole kind of thing with a birdhouse on top. So, so the first one I made outside was actually a bunch of failed projects that I kind of turned into something unique, you know. And uh, the reaction from, you know, some of my friends and neighbors, oh, that's pretty cool, you know. So then I started designing them uh, to, to be like that instead of just like mistakes. The birdhouses begin as wooden planks. Chiarelli laminates the wood using glue and huge clamps. He then uses a lathe to turn this square block of wood into a circle. A lot of times the wood dictates what you're making. Laminating all those pieces together, making sections, and then interconnecting them with a, a piece that's of a contrasting color to make it look like it's a continuous flow up to the top. Over on his metalworking lathe, Chiarelli makes all the jigs and fixtures he uses to do his wood turning. I learned how to run a metal lathe when I was 13 years old, so I was always around machines growing up. I could make something really precision on metal, and not, not too many people could get the concept of having make it. Um, but now you make a bowl or present something that's made out of wood, everybody gets it, and it's kind of like something that people could use, too, on a daily basis. So it's nice to combine the bolt skills together. I really enjoy the precision of the metal and also the creativity of the wood. Wood turning affords Chiarelli creativity that he doesn't always get in his day job. What is your day job? I'm the director of physical plant at UVM. UVM's physical plant maintains over 6 million square feet of facilities, from classrooms and research laboratories to offices and athletic fields. It's on an old athletic field where our story takes a turn. UVM's physical plant needed a new storage facility. Chiarelli saw an opportunity to reuse an old field that hadn't been played on for some time. <laughs> UVM used to have a football team, as we know. They were undefeated since 1974, right? And the bleachers that were there were huge. I mean, they seated 5,000, 6,000 people. We actually decided um, as a university we were gonna take them down. Um, I saw some value in the structure. The structure was sound. The steel was solid, it was galvanized. It would be up for another 100 years. So we were able to, over the course of two years, convert the bleacher a structure into a storage facility. Given his Yankee ingenuity, you can guess what Chiarelli decided to do with the wood from the bleachers. I thought it would be a nice thing to make one of these birdhouses for the university using that wood. Three of my kids went to UVM, so I have a real connection between working there. I'm really dedicated to the university and uh, grateful. And so this is kind of like a a full circle thing with not only myself, but also with the wood coming from the bleachers, you know, being turned into something that will be standing hopefully for, you know, maybe a dozen or two dozen years or something like that. When the birdhouse is finished, it will be installed in the gardens alongside the Jeffords building. It's kind of neat to be able to put something together out of nothing. And that, that's kind of like what I like to do is like, you know, get stuff that like nobody else wants and you can make something really nice out of it. And um, that, that makes me feel good, especially knowing that the stuff that I'm making it out of came from the university and it's going back to the university. So even though the bleachers are gone, the story lives on. From old bleachers to a new feature at UVM, this is a story that's going to turn out all right. In Burlington, I'm Keith Silva with Across the Fence.